Welcome to the first episode of Pirate Watch with 44.9 and... And Ben. All right, first episode is going to be very short, and basically uh, I get a lot of comments on this Constitution-free zone. It drives me crazy because people talk about it all the time. That, oh, well, if you live 100 miles within the the border, man, you're in this Constitution-free zone. And I, I just literally want to laugh. Or it makes me sad because how does the Constitution just magically disappear? I mean, where was that written in the Constitution that it magically disappears when you get 100 miles within the border? Are know? they talking about the, the, the border of Mexico only or is this every border? No, they're talking, about, borders. they're talking about the whole United States that within that... The Constitution doesn't exist, and, and nowhere do I find in the Constitution that says uh, this this section don't apply if you're within 100 miles of, of the border. First where, of all, they didn't even know what the hell the border was back when they wrote it. Where'd you uh, Where'd you read this from? It was from the ACLU website, and they actually have a video on YouTube about it. And they got some jicky jack crying saying, "Oh, uh, I got stopped, and they told me the border didn't exist, or the Constitution doesn't exist within 100 miles from the border, and blah blah blah." And just uh, have you ever had any experiences with this? Or no, I get a lot of comments. People believe anything, man. See, the Constitution was written to restrain the government. It has none to do with uh, any of us. It has to do with the restraining the government. The Constitution is worldwide. It's to restrain the federal government worldwide. If it says they can't declare war, they can't declare war in anywhere in the world. I mean, I want to get more in-depth about this later on, but the Constitution is a worldwide document. Against who? Against the government of the United States of America. Meaning, I can be over in France, or wherever, and they can't violate my constitutional rights. They don't magically disappear, because it was a strength against them from coming over there and fucking with me. You're right. If I'm in Siberia... They can't go over there and start violating my rights. It, it was it strained to keep them where they're at to quit fucking with people. Excuse my language. <laughs> God dang. Do we have a, do we have a caller? Who is this? This is Andrew. It's calling in. Hey, Andrew. The, uh, port, the, yeah, the, the Constitution-free zone? Do you agree yeah. with it? Hell no, man. That's messed up. What the hell do they think they're doing? See them all these checkpoints out throughout Arizona. Let me ask you, Andrew. Have you, uh, have you heard anything about the story of Pastor Steve Anderson of uh, Tempe, Arizona. Have you, did you hear anything about that story? Have you seen the video on YouTube? Yeah, I saw, I saw a video on there, but what happened? I mean, it looks like they beat him up pretty good Well, well they completely violated his Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights. Is, is he suing them? I mean, is, is there any recourse It doesn't matter. I mean, there's a, there's a lawsuit going on, and, uh, you know, who knows what will happen, but, but they, it's not the they point. But they consider it as a cost of doing business. That's the problem, is that they wrote it into their insurance policies. That they go, well, there is going to be a level of this, and uh, basically they put it in their insurance policy. And do you see any, like, less of that behavior? No. It still goes on. Because they go, right. well, that's just the cost of doing this. We're going to have to pay out a couple of them. But, I mean, are they going to fire these jerks that beat him up, or are they going to give them mm, promotions? I mean, what's going on as here? Far as, I'm, Germany, or? as far as I'm aware of, nobody's been fired. So do you think do you are, are you in agreement with these people? Do you think your the Constitution is magically disappears when you get a hundred miles within the border? Uh, no, the Constitution no, I mean, already disappeared. Whether we're a hundred miles or a thousand <laughs> miles from the border, they don't use it anymore. No bullshit. It's all in your mind. It's perception. Yeah, the, Perception's the is everything. Even, yeah, the problem is our government's been hijacked. We don't even have a government. That's why they say it, it doesn't even exist. I mean, that's why they say you can do whatever they want because. But it, they say but, we got no rights. But Andrew, it, it is all perception, though. Don't you understand? Is that if you believe that the Constitution exists, it does. If enough people believe it, that's like you believe you have freedom. You're running around thinking you're free. Free-range chicken. You're running around, oh, I'm free as fuck. When really you're not, but it's the perception that you're free. So we, right. if we believe we're free, if we believe in the Constitution, enough people do, then it does exist. You know, it's, it's like, just, are you, you, you going to tell a Christian that Jesus didn't live? Or what, what didn't walk the earth? And yeah, didn't die for your sins? Good luck. And these, you know, these guys that come in there, you know, they're committing treason, really, when they say that your rights don't exist. Yeah, treason against the law that they that they supposedly swore an oath to protect. Exactly. But, of course, you know, 
I guess they're just enforcing the law of man and not the not the law of the declara- declaration of, is right. You know, our rights come from our creator. Which is God. Whoever that is. You believe Whoever it's a tree, is, whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, the tree is your creator or whatever, but, uh, you know, it comes from your creator. Whoever you, you know, if law is created by man, then it can be taken away by man. So anyway, to sum this up, the, the Constitution is worldwide. It's a restraint against the government to restrain them from violating you somehow, some way. It doesn't magically disappear. If somebody can show me that in the Constitution, then uh, I'll quit ranting about this. Anyway, that's the show for us today. Uh, it's not very long. We need some more donations to keep going. Go to donate to camerafraud.com and chip in, and um, we'll be doing this every day if you can chip in. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Sayonara. Sayonara.